I've not seen a lot of these, these GQ um, tattoo stories, but I imagine sometimes people will give you a really far out story about why they've got their tattoos. Not gonna be a lot of that here. A uh, lot of these are just random, but there's none that I regret, like that one on my arse. Hi, I'm Louis Tomlinson. I'm here with GQ today to talk through some of my tattoos. Before I got in band, I said to anyone who knew me, I'd never have a tattoo and I'd never smoke cigarettes. My life went a different way and the first tattoo that I got, and I thought it was gonna be the only one, I reckon I was about 20, 21 around that time. When we were in the band, we agreed that we would all have matching tattoos on our ankles of just like crosses, basically. And we all then got it done, except for Niall. But we did actually all agree that we'd do them all together, but Niall never got his done. Just, uh, it's a stag, is it? I'm told. <laughs> Again, no, uh, no reasoning behind it. Wanted something big for my arm, um, and that's why I got it. I have a heart above it, and um, this were a really bad tattoo. Before this is the only cover up I've ever had. Actually, this one really weird, like a heart, and it had like headphones. We like horrible, horrible, horrible decision. But that's the beauty of a good cover up. I think almost by accident, especially here, it's almost a bit like sketch pad, notepad kind of vibe, you know what I mean? And most of these are done in different places, different cities, different countries, different ability of tattoo artist, you know? I mean, this is probably my worst tattoo, even though it's pretty small. Um, it's not great quality amongst all my tattoos, but this is pretty horrific. The lines aren't straight. It was meant to be an X. I mean, that looks all right there. Put my finger over it. Take it away, horrible, horrible. Robbie Williams, um, the two of us were on the X Factor together, judges, and um, I think we've been joking before on the panel saying we should tattoo each other. So we did add X's each, I put an X on him. Not gonna lie, did a pretty good job. Um, and then I let him have a go, and he's, yeah, he's made a horrible job of that, if I'm being honest. Compass, absolutely no, uh, no meaning behind that one. Had it done in LA, this is one of the better ones, to be fair. If you turn it this way, it goes 3D. This way, 2D, you know what I mean? A bit like that. And it, it points to home, which isn't that sweet, you know what I mean? This little skateboarder here. I used to like to skateboard a little bit when I was younger. So I thought, I think maybe I've seen this on Google. I was like, yeah, right, I'll start with that. And then I just got this really ugly line underneath it. Um, and I remember, you know, before I had other tattoos there, it looked pretty gross, that. That's the skateboarding, man. I ain't got a tattoo myself in like maybe two years now. Except for I've got a really comical penguin on my ass, which I won't be showing you. I, just at times, I'm not gonna lie, I can't help but be a bit of a show off. That was one of them moments. This'll be funny, watch this. And then I have to live with it. <laughs> this bird here, in terms of like style and like art and that, this guy did a great job. And this is one of the only tattoo shops that I've been into that there's a vibe, isn't there? You know what I mean? They're moody, like unapproachable, and I'm like, right, okay, I'm in a proper place here. I walk in, I thought, right, okay, I'll be proper organised, I'll show guy. I was like, right, this is exactly what I want. And it was a picture of this guy's arm. And I was like, this guy is sick, I want this. He starts chuckling, this guy, I'm like, oh, this is a bit embarrassing, like, what's he laughing at? Goes and gets his mate from behind wherever, and that's him, his mate. It's his mate's arm, and I've just been like saying, this guy's so cool, like I proper want this, and you know, I just proper just sold myself out for this guy and his cool tattoo. Fuck, I swear to God, I had completely, I have not looked at this tattoo, because it's blended in underneath me rope a little bit. I literally have not looked at these for years, years. What are they? Couldn't tell you. I don't. I barely even remember having it. Never mind why. I'm looking at these little birds now as well. I'm thinking again. I don't fucking know what tattoos I've got. I had a very violent past. Um, no, uh, there's absolutely no reason behind that. There's about a hundred tattoos that are pretty common. I'd say Dagger's one of them, and I just seen it on a few different people, a few different pictures. I was like, I'll have a bit of that. Oh, this one, this one is a little bit sentimental, actually. It says, given a chance, and I think, yeah, it's a lyric of a Kings of Leon song. And when I was younger, before I was in the band, you know, you always like to put a little bit of, on your bio is like a bit of a lyric, and, that, and it was that lyric. Um, so I kind of taken that on with me. On my ankles here, that says the, <laughs> and this says rogue, and that would name me band that I was in before One Direction. 
Ironically, those just kicked me out of the band, but still, I'm the bigger man and I will get it tattooed on my body. They all hurt. Anyone who's saying they don't hurt, it's bullshit, and they all hurt. Uh, I always like to just, before I get in chair, like give the guy a bit of a disclosure and be like, look, lad, I am a bit of a wimp with pain. It's not as if I have searched across the country or globe to find the right artist on any of these, to be honest. It's only after the event, and your skin starts getting used to it, that you realise how bad some of these are. What I need is, I need a full day just going into some proper champ tattoo guy and he could just fix me up. It's been quite a fun journey for me, not taking it too seriously getting tattoos, because most people take them really seriously, you know what I mean? Spend months over working on the exact one, and they'll give you like a far out story about what the bird means and freedom and all that. But I think, just get to Tattoo Shop and decide when you're there.